you know, or like Wind Pulse, and he's like, he's he's doing the same. I think he's doing the same thing to the devs. So every time I say, "Hey, Richard Hart, Wind Pulse," R- Richard Hart's calling the devs and be like, you know, on on the computer, and he's like FaceTiming them and being like, "Wind Pulse," you know, people yeah. are asking me. You know, I, I think he's he's pumping that. But uh, the longer we wait, the better, man. The longer we wait, because we've already got a billion billion dollars of people's money, right? So who's going to get into it? It's got to be a new crowd. It's got to be a new crowd. So on the come up there, we got to get people and we got to show them a chart. And that chart's got to kick ass. And once they see a kick ass chart, they get into it and make that chart an even better chart. And that's how this thing kicks off. Money. That's all it is. Money. People want to see gains. So just on, on that, on the, on the launch part too, if the better chart comes from timing a bear market do you think there's any truth to him doing that or you think there's just the legit bugs that you know he's going as fast as he can what what team are you on team team time the market or team fix bugs i'm i'm kind of this is my view um i think i want to say that richard hart is smart enough to know that that time equals growth and the longer you wait because delayed gratification is this thing so the longer we go and the closer we go to the end of the bear market, the more your token coin is going to rise. Uh, you know, I want to say that he's smart enough to do that. And he is because he said those exact words. But then he says, "Uh, uh-uh, that ain't me. I ain't doing it. So I don't want to uh, be on team Richard holding back. But on the same side, I'm on team. This is the smart thing to do either way. So we got a blessing with some bugs. We got a blessing with some code that slowed us down. I think that's a reasonable, <clears throat> you know, I can totally see him using that as an excuse. Oh shit, we got these bugs. We really need to fix them. But hey, everyone, you know, that you know the bear market's not over yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna be the public face. I'm gonna smooth things over. I'm gonna smooth things over. Everyone's so mad. <laughs> Most people are so mad about it. But, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the brunt of all the comments, but I know it's gonna be better for the long term. I could I could see that too. I could see that uh, being a, a, a thing too. Well, people gave him a billion dollars, so we need a billion more to come into the ecosystem. So if that's the case, we need Richard Hart out there on Good Morning America. Richard out there talking about Financial Times. Richard Hart putting out his movie on Netflix, getting the broke plebs in, showing big ass gains and, and stuff like that. We need all this to go on. Uh, That's what you said. That's what you mentioned too, was the document. So tell people about that. The documentary, you think there may be, that might be a reason why they're timing the bear market or not, not timing the bear market. They may be timing the release with the documentary release. Is that right? Well, I don't think that is timing. I think that that's his layout. Like, when you were doing the show, you sent me things that you wanted to talk about, right? So that's his layout. This is his game plan to win. Yeah. And he, he said in there in that video, he's like, wouldn't it be so cool if you didn't hear about or you, you got into this uh, a pulse and you heard about it on like basically on on the video, the movie, and then you got into it? Or wouldn't it be so cool if you bought it 90% down and you got into it? That's him making more millionaires in the future. I think that that's Richard Hart setting up for his next project. If you if you want to know, he's a master. He is. So so if he has if he had Hex, Hex rose up like a motherfucker, right? Then we have Pulse Chain and Pulse X. Now if he's got projects over here in the background to do, he's got to rise those up too because he has to have all that glory story coming in. Look at these people that did this and paid off their houses and did this. I'm such an awesome guy, and that gets him his next two billion uh, or two trillion. <laughs> who knows um donations for the next one so it's it's the whole stacking of it um and it's building his ecosystem it's building his empire it's smart as fuck yeah yeah i'm, I'm just thinking too <clears throat> couldn't the doc you know if the documentary released earlier couldn't they just show you know all the people i'm sure they got tons of interviews with hexagons who have bought houses and you know all these things we want to show people they can do with this wealth and then at the end of it just be like and you are gonna love this Richard is working on an even bigger project that's had over a billion dollars sacrificed. And now it is going to launch within two weeks, you know, something like that, or very soon, whatever the tagline is. And then that's the documentary that, that wraps, you know, October, November. And then 
Well, I guess it's still in that in that timeline that would still be waiting till it's. Uh, I mean, do people need to know about it? Does it need to be a because it's not even a secret now? So, what would be the logic in saying people need to hear about Pulse from the documentary when we're not sure they would even hear about Pulse if it launched without the documentary first? Be, just, because it's the story he's telling. It's the story. All right, go back and remember that Bitcoin movie. What was that Bitcoin movie that's on Netflix? Oh God, there's so many. Um, yeah, but the the original one, they were following people around in 2012, right? Uh, yeah, I remember the that rise, one. the rise of Bitcoin. Yes, right. So, yeah. Okay. Well, in there, the guy's like sitting there, and he's he's broken his house. He's like me. He's like me. He's like, oh man, I believe in this. I believe in this. I put all my kids' college funds in this. All right, and I've got these miners here mining it. It's a story, right? So mm. when people look at this six months after it comes out, and they say, wow look at what look at where he is now and then when i look at the hex price and it's up here today and i they've gone up so much you know it gives the it, it got more people rise of bitcoin got a lot of people into bitcoin because they're like oh look at this it shows the step ladders it shows a guy step uh skipping past seven rungs up you know what i mean mm. in the wealth game so those people imagine those people if they held because you don't know if they held and that movie, I, I haven't followed any of their life stories or anything, but those people probably not. Those people had like thousands of Bitcoin, right? At that yeah. low price, they had thousands of them. Imagine if they held today, how rich they were. And then that puts it in your head as a viewer later on down the line, growing people into the ecosystem. I'm talking a year, two years after they're like, wow, he had the initiative, uh, the, the know-how to see that the future was going to be here. And the mm -hmm. fact that he put it all in and risk it all, the guy may have sold out and gone broke. You don't know. But it, you're like, if I do the same thing, I can have. And then, you know what I mean? It yeah. gets them in. And that's that's just my viewpoint. I don't think it's going to be like that. I'm more like, uh, what is that guy's name? Oh, shouldn't even brought it up. Trevon James. Do you see him? You watch him ever? Uh, I don't watch him too often. I see his tweets every once in a while. But what's up with yeah. him? But his take on the whole thing was uh, Richard Hart's going to make it, it's going to end when we're at a low, basically. Like all these people are going to be struggling. Richard Hart's going to be rich. Some people are going to be lifted up that believed in the system. And hex price is going to be at a low at that time. So basically it's going to, like I said, it's a long-term game, not a short-term game where, you know, when you put something on Netflix, if you say, yay, we won, the game's over, right? So you want people to come back in. You're trying to draw people in year because what if what if I put out this special on Netflix and said, what if you put out the special when uh, uh, Hex was at 55 cents, mm -hmm. right? What are people going to do? They're yeah. going to Google that shit. Mm -hmm. They're going to look it up and say, oh, look at this joke. If they were 55 cents, they were winning, and look now, it's five cents. What idiots, mm. right? You don't want people. That's going to draw people out of your ecosystem. You want to draw them in. So you want to bring them in on a cliffhanger at the bottom and see this guy's, if he doesn't have uh, gains in the next month, he's going to lose his house, you know? And then, mm. then they can look into the system here, like Rise of Bitcoin and see the actual growth. You don't see any winners in Rise of Bitcoin. You see people that put into it and were hard and stories of their, their background and everything like that. You know, I think there's going to be a lot of Richard Hart winning in that video, you know, yeah. um, probably uh, flexes of Lambos and ladies and, and uh, castles. We got castles, castles now. stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, I don't think that they're going to they they don't want it to launch at an all time high. They want it to launch at a low, which makes me which is more the reason to believe that, you know, we might pump up to 10 to or 10 to 15 to 20 cents but then we're going to have the fall off before we actually do the rise, you know, that uh, mm. dead cat bounce, so to speak. We're, we're still in the parabola. You got to break out of the parabola to have a, a dead cat bounce. You got to break out of the, the trend line to have that dead cat bounce because it gets everyone invested in it. Like, Oh shit, this, this is going up. We're out of the market and no mm. market shape like a V they're all shaped like you people. They go down, they stay stagnant, they may have a few, and then they go up. Everyone thinks recovery and our, our shit's going to look like this right Hockey here. Stick. I, I just, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. The, you know, yeah. it's it's time plus drop. You have to have that time. 